I'm Ty Schmidt, I work for Dell. Um, here talking about uh, our latest, greatest modular architecture. And uh, specifically, we have uh, found over our many interactions with customers, we talk to 10 different customers, and inherently they have 10 different design requirements or, or elements that are very, very critical to them. Um, when we show them what we're doing and we talk about what we're doing, their initial reaction is, well, I thought I was going to see a container. Instead, I'm seeing something that's not a container, kind of like a container, but it's it, it's different. And when we get into the next level of discussion about, hey, you know, those 10 different customers, what are your points of pain? What are your areas that you're looking for uh, that are tied to the value of your business? Uh, we now have the ability, by blowing the walls off the container and not being bounded by that uh, rigid architecture, to right size uh, on every level of that uh, what those customers are looking for. And so inherently, we're able to. Uh, you know, talk to those 10 different customers, get those 10 different requirements, and for each one of those customers, put that right feature in and not burden the next customer who doesn't need it. And uh, that's an important aspect of what these customers are looking for. And uh, they're surprised when they see this uh, because they were inherently, um, they believe that they were going to be constrained by what a container is today. Can you give me an example? Uh, an example? So, when we had our, our, our first generation containerized solution that we were very successful with, it was, was a very, uh, very specific, uh, had a very set, set of specific operational design parameters. Uh, we talked to many customers, walked them through, they thought it was the coolest thing, this is great, love it, but uh, I would love you know, less racks, or I would love more racks, or I would love the ability to scale, or I don't like that it's stacked, uh, or I don't need this amount of battery backup time I need this, or uh, I need this type of power distribution or this level of availability. And each one of those elements was doable, but the time it took, the cost it took, uh, because it was a rigid platform, um, was not, not uh, a benefit to the customer, and it, and it basically kind of turned them off a little bit from, from the overall solution. Now we have those same discussions, and, I'm, and now instead of having the discussion of here's how long it will take, here's how much it will cost, it's you know what is important to you. Here's how we here's how we uh, we have this module that adapts for that. Here's how we we you know can give you the less or more amount of racks, this different type of cooling, this different type of power distribution. Um, and so we're, we're we immediately jump to a solution discussion, not a here's how we're constrained, here's how we're gated, here's the, the problems that we see with the, doing what you're asking for, what you need. And what are some of the results customers have seen? Well, it's it's a right sized solution, right? So they're they're able to get what they want. They're able to get the data that they need to plan effectively for their facility, uh, for their operation, uh, their timelines by which they're trying to get operational. They can now they have the data that they need to go and plan for that. And when they when they what they can plan for now is something that matches and fits what they're looking for. Instead of trying to uh, build their facility around what the the or their uh, operational mode and or facility around the constraints variables um, of a more rigid solution. They are, it's just part of their, their, their planning process, it's part of their build process, and they're getting more of what exactly they need to be, uh, to be as effective as they can.